hello dear subscribers and viewers of this channel today i come to you with uh, different lessons like uh, which will help you and i wish some i knew them because i've got uh, a lot of loss because i blocked them so i want to share with you so that you cannot uh, do the same mistake and you may fulfill your life and your, your presence in this world the first one is when God says not, not ignore it and go to do it because of what you are, because of your lesions. When you are praying and God tells you don't do this one, my friend, not do it. It's better to write it down so that you may not repeat the same mistake. Uh, the second is not make decision when you are so excited or when you are disappointed. Sometimes when you are excited, the, the brain does not think lightly. You may make a decision that you may regret. But also when you are disappointed, you may go to extra miles in hurting yourself or hurting others or doing something which will make you hurt so many days. The other life lessons, number three, is do not eat food because it's delicious. Protect your body. Eating your health food is like committing suicide. Because when you are eating bad food, uh, you are not hurting anybody. You are just hurting your own body. So it's better to eat the delicious food. Sometimes you may, uh, it's better to eat healthy food. Sometimes you may need delicious food. Yes, you may use it once in a while. But knowing that it's not good for your health, so uh, try, a mean, uh, means, try means to detoxify your body when you have consumed something which is unhealthy to your body. Number four, do not judge people based on your experience, especially sometimes cultural experience. You may be the one who is wrong. You may think that people who are seeing, whom you are, you are just seeing, uh, you think maybe they are wrong on what they are doing. Think that you are right, but themselves they find yourself, they find you being wrong. So it's better to let uh, the, uh, the time decide who is right and, just, and uh, keep yourself in learning every day so that you may, that I may know the differences uh, with the people you are living with. Number five, every cent you get, use it widely, it might not return. When you get some money, small or, or yeah, huge, it's better to use it wisely. Sometimes you need to invest, not to use. Uh, that's number six. It's, uh, it's better to invest rather than spending. So it's better sometimes when you get some money to invest rather than spending. Because the time is going to come when the money that you are getting, you want to get it. Sometimes you may lose your, you may lose your job. How are you going to survive? Sometimes you may become sick. How are you going to live? Yes, you may not die, but still you are going to suffer. God will not leave you to die. He will provide the means for you to, uh, for your sustainability. But still you won't live the same life that you used to live. Because you are now not producing, but you are consuming from somewhere else. Though God may provide it uh, from different people. So it's better to learn to invest rather than spending. Number seven, ask God's will than your own will. When you are confused, it's better to ask for God's will. Because sometimes your decision may not right. Because we are deciding based on our perception, based on our background, based on our experience. Times because of our heart, how it is, how we've been hurt. Sometimes there might, be, there might be good opportunities, but you might not use them because of our past experiences. So it's better to ask for God's will. If he tells you gone, if he keeps quiet and doesn't answer, it's better to go slowly, start to discern what way, what way to take. And number eight, protect your life partner, wife or husband. She who is the one who sleeps with you. The one whom you need to care so much is your husband or your wife. Why? Because it's the person whom you're going to live with for a long time of your life. So it's better if you can spend the time with her or him. The person whom you need to value. Because when you are sleeping, is the one who can take your life away easily without any policeman or protection. So it's better the person that you sleep with to protect her or him. It's that easy. You can practice these lessons. Number nine, respect everybody you don't know uh, what will, of course you don't know what will happen in the future. Sometimes pride is something which kills us. And humbleness is that a sad lesson to learn every day. I know you might be humble for, elite, uh, for some extent. 
keep learning, keep away from God because our heart is evil and selfish. Still, we, don't, we need to be noticed by people. We need to be appreciated by people. That's our nature. We cannot change it by trying or by debasing yourself. The best thing to do is to humble yourself before God. Because as long as you humble yourself before God, you won't feel proud before men. But if you try to make yourself humble before men, you're going to become a slave to them and to their ideologies. So it's better you can learn to be humble before Lord. But still, when you go before men, it's better if you choose to respect them. How can you succeed in this one? It's not by doing it emotionally, because emotions will lead you to do bad decisions. Sometimes to speak where you ought to speak and not to speak where you are not supposed to speak, where you are supposed to speak. So what I, I, I can advise you to do, my friend, that issue is just to live your life. Live calmly, speak uh, respectfully, and let the nature follow. Because there are mechanisms which rule the world that has been put by God. So if you violate them, expect the results. Sometimes they might be long, they might be bad or good. So it's better to learn, to respect everyone in this world. Number 10. Try to find your purpose and live accordingly. Try to find your life purpose. Why do I say try to find your life purpose? Because there are people who are living not having the purpose of their existence. If you are the one, it's better to keep trying. Do not leave the place or not do the job that you know that's not your purpose for a long time. Keep trying. One day you'll find where you fit to be. That's how the life should be. We all cannot discern our purpose in this country. There are people who have been given that opportunity to understand their purpose when they are still young. But there are others who are doing the job till now, but still they haven't found their purpose. But there are others who have found it, but it's difficult to quit. But what you do you need to do, my friend? Something that you can do now is try to find your life purposes through prayer and studying of different books, spiritual and unspiritual. Because still we need education, we need academics, we need to understand psychology, we understand because we have background. Our old background has not been built on only the spiritual life. Still we have physical and academic life and psychological life that have built us. So it's not good if you can only study things which are spiritual only and neglect others. Because those, those things that you are, how you are looking now, that how people see you, you have three building blocks. The first one is spiritual. The second is physical that you can see. And the other is psychological. That is different from the spiritual realm. So it's better if you can study different books, but not books which defy the presence of God, because they are going to indoctrinate you and take away the position of God and put the material within. So my friend, this is the video which has been dedicated to everybody to understand, to uh, lead these life lessons. I do believe they are going to help you as you keep moving forward in life. Struggle to make it, but not try hard to make it. Why do I say this one? We, who, the one who gives us the energy to become rich is God. The one who, has, who gives us power to become rich is God. The one who enables us to live every day is God. Because there are people who have a lot of money, but still they cannot survive. They are dying. Because of earth problem, sometimes accidents. So your life that you have, enjoy it. Live joyfully now for whatever that you have, because that's the life you have. You don't get anything. You cannot go somewhere to get another life. The life you have, it's yours now. That's God has seen better to give it to you. So thank him every morning and every night and every moment because it's God who has given you the chance to live. And keep praying for one another. Do you want a person to pray for? You can pray for me. Do you want a person that wants to pray for you? I can pray for you. Thank you. Let us pray. Lord, thank you because of your goodness. You're going to be with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember to share and subscribe this video because I believe it is going to help you as you're moving forward the life which is coming before you.